Hello, Congressman G.K. Butterfield here, proudly representing North Carolina's first congressional district, which includes 14 counties in eastern North Carolina, including the county of Durham. First, let me say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all of you. As 2018 comes to a close, and many of us prepare to celebrate Christmas and the new year with family and friends, it's also a good time to reflect on what we've accomplished this year and the work that lies ahead. Access to affordable, quality health care remains a challenge for many, especially those in rural communities and those living with rare diseases. That is why I was glad to see my bill called the Protecting Patient Access to Emergency Medications Act signed into law this year. I introduced this bill with my fellow Congressman Richard Hudson from North Carolina. The passage of this law will help save lives by ensuring people have access to med medications in emergencies. The bill is important for my constituents, particularly those living in rural areas who become sick or injured in remote areas and must be stabilized to travel to the nearest hospital. My bill, the Childhood Cancer Star Act, which was also signed into law this year. This bill advances childhood cancer research and child-focused cancer treatments for 16,000 children diagnosed with cancer in the U.S. every year. I continued my Jobs and Justice Tour to hear directly from you. The Jobs and Justice Tour brought me to Durham and Rocky Mount, Littleton, Plymouth, Greenville, Wilson, Windsor, Enfield, and Oxford, just to name a few. Just this past summer, my office held over 30 meetings and events throughout the district. After hearing your concerns and priorities, I remain committed to working against the regressive policies we are seeing here in Washington and will fight for policies that level the playing field. Together we protect, protected and made progress on several issues. We fought back to protect affordable health care, education, access to the ballot box, our federal judiciary, and so much more. But more, much more remains to be done. I look forward to having a majority in the House of Representatives, which will allow us to make progress on many issues that you care so much about, such as lowering health care costs and increasing pay and investing in our country with an infrastructure package that will address the needs of our communities. I am optimistic and excited about the progress we can make if we stay engaged and work together. My staff and I also helped a number of North Carolinians cut through the red tape of dealing with the federal government to address a number of individual problems from providing resources to those seeking federal grants for their small business, to helping constituents get their Medicare reinstated and have their missing payments reissued, to helping veterans secure their earned benefits from the VA. I'm proud to report that eight talented young people from the district, whom I nominated to attend the U.S. Military Academies, began attending this year and are scheduled to graduate in 2022. Thank you to all who came to the town hall meetings, met with my staff, called to voice your concerns, and were willing to work with us so we could successfully resolve important issues. So in closing, I ex express to all of you what an incredible honor it is to serve you in Congress and more importantly, to be your friend and neighbor. I wish all of you a very Merry Christmas. Happy Holiday. Happy New Year's to all of you. May you go out with joy and be led forth in peace. See you in 2019.